first band, so it was the Thatcher, so we know they're going downstairs probably first, and we don't bring any hard breaches. There is ways to basically stop them from breaching. You could have Zofia, you can Zofia trick, uh, but I would also like to see a Capital, probably instead of the Blitz, the Capital. Um, and then instead of the Gridlock, a hard breacher, or the IQ a hard breacher. One of the two. One of these two, the utility ops, they need to switch. But you could Zofia trick them, or you could have used Capital Flame Bolt, one of the two. Um, ideally, you should have both, just to reiterate and make sure that you get that. Um, but right now, you don't even have a hard breacher, so let's see how this goes. And this is one of those maps where bringing Hibana every single round is not bad because you can use her for upstairs you can use her for downstairs like it's universally useful and it looks like they went kitchen dining first so we got lucky we didn't need a hard breacher it wasn't absolutely necessary we should call out that they're spawn peeking through master bedroom window Because if one of our teammates dies and they don't know about it, then it's our fault. Five seconds to go. Proceed to bomb location and defuse it. Ooh, the bell cam. Good job on the cannon staying on and catching that. But we should also tell our teammates too, so they kind of try and look for it. Um, but we do also have an IQ. So first thing we should have done was we should have told IQ. We should have, one, called out that they're possibly spawn peeking here. Uh, that's a good indication for that. And then two, tell her IQ that there's a Valk cam outside. Because she may not look for it if she doesn't think that there is one. But now that she knows that there is, she'll look for it. Shouldn't expect your teammates to just do that, in my opinion. Always verification, always double check, triple check. And we're just kind of sitting here. I was going to say, if you don't feel comfortable going this way, you can go around the rock and go to a different position. Also, small bedroom window is open and you didn't look at it at all. Reloading, cover me! I'd be wary about being here because you lose track of time fairly quickly. If you can see a minute in the round has already surpassed, that's a lot of time so far. IQ is getting the right idea, getting up there, droning out, figuring out what to do. Hopefully she can flush someone to you. Or we should have probably been here sooner. And she's dead now. And now we don't have any way to get the Valk cam outside. We know it's outside. Um, I have an estimate as to which tree is on, but me personally, I am just a little colorblind and that's very hard for me to spot that i don't know why it is on chalet with the trees i just can't hit the valve cam unless they're on it let's see if you even look for it because you know it's there and we don't even look for it we don't tell our teammates that it's there they're sitting outside and they have full information that they're there if they were on the cam, they saw you going downstairs, so they know where you are now. And now we don't have any more drones. Oh no, we should. It should just be outside is what it is. That did stun the throw, but it didn't look like he was stunned. So there's someone else in there for sure, besides the frost, because it couldn't have stunned the frost really. Uh, so we know that there's probably two more people up there. Yep, and a bell. And now we're getting spotted because there's a bell cam outside. We're the last one, so just kind of whatever. And we died. Eliminated.
weird kill cam. But a lot of that was due to the information that they had. Um, we never notified our IQ, hey, there's a Valcam outside here. Can you look for it at the very least? Uh, yeah, it's a dangerous game to play. She has to be basically right up against the building to be completely safe to kill it. But um, even if she isn't, if she's hiding behind a tree and someone else is already in that position, then she can have them get it or have the Blitz get it. Um, yeah, we weren't really communicating or coordinating with our team in that ends in that entire time, which kind of sucked. But now we know that they are going to go downstairs. Um, if someone goes freaking blue bar games room I, before downstairs on this, I'd be surprised. But it is pretty shitty to hold downstairs, so they might. <laughs> All right, so they got the Maverick. So that's how they're gonna we're gonna counter bandit tricking. So that's good. But and that guy's just getting auto picked every single time. Either that or he's picking him at the very last second. So now we're pretty confident that they're downstairs based off of where Val came from. Is this where we're gonna but my question now is is this where we're gonna enter? What are we doing here? We should bring our drone back to where we spawned if we don't know where we're gonna enter. Or we can do what you're doing now, which is bring your drone in a little farther to Five walk rotation to see if see try and guess where they're gonna be. You must locate and defuse a bomb. We could have shot the default cam to our right, right when we spawned in. Uh, just less information for them. Then you don't have to worry about, did my teammates kill it? Because right now it's a CU. Oh. Good job trying to kill her right away. You had an idea that she was probably going to... Do that. Here, let me go back and see what he said. Valk top floor. The Valk top floor. But we should have called that out. The diffuser is no longer in your possession. The diffuser is disappeared. Good. Kind of a wild thing for that Jaeger to just peek you like that. cleared out uh, West Main stairs, we cleared out the hallway immediately in front of us, and I don't know if it went down uh, uh, fireplace balcony or if it went over the library hallway, but either way we should have pushed there. We cleared it out, we know that it's clear, so we can just push up a little bit more instead of walking, turning around and basically backtracking. She's not holding anything, I mean... I, if I were you, I would drone ahead. Figure out your drone is right down in blue bar. You're not too far away from where this Valkyrie probably is, which is in library. So drone it out. Figure out where she is. Um, the gridlock sitting there just watching uh, Master. There's probably not anyone in there unless the window's broken, the small window's broken. But I don't know. let's see what happens. Then. Half the round is pretty much gone through. Alright, now we're droning. I really hope we don't get killed from the library, because we never drone that out. Good, you know the angle to kill the band trickle. Good job on killing the cav. Um at that point you want um 
No, I was going to say I would have waited a little bit longer before you jumped down just to see if she would go for the interrogation. But that's an unsafe interrogation, even by her standards or a basic level understanding and understanding uh, just because of how open the area is and how many people have been spotted here. So good call to jump down right away to try and secure the kill. Now we're right back up here. See, I would almost count this as a worthless position to be in because Hibana's dead. And if they call Hibana's dead, well, and they haven't heard a thermite, they've already heard you fire. They probably heard the sledge fire, but he's dead. They've heard the gridlock fire, so they know who's alive and who's dead. So the bandit's not going to be here anymore. He's just not. So there's no reason for us to sit here anymore and waste time trying to kill someone that doesn't need to be there. And shooting the band of berries doesn't really do us anything. Changing mag. Right. An aura is so call it out, let them know. Um, if they know that he's in uh, snowmobile garage and they see the other guy in line, well then he knows that he can push up a little more. Or if he knows the location of one of them, that tells him if he can push up or not. Um, and it tells him if he's got a crossfire on him because he doesn't know if someone's in big garage or if someone's in wine because he could have already been in a firefight with someone in wine, but he doesn't know if someone in big garage or someone in the like little hallway here for uh wine hallway like where are they but if you tell him hey he's over here that tells him he can push up without with the security of knowing that he isn't going to get crossfire on him but now we know he's in connector seconds. Ten seconds. now we're getting spawned because of bout cams five seconds left. He's down, so we tell him he's down blue. Call came out for blue. Who had diffuser? No one did. Diffuser's all the way over there. We lost track of diffuser. So it looked like your only call out so far was in blue when it was 15 seconds left and it didn't really matter. Um, that he could have shot through the wall on the side here. Uh, from wine to kill him, but that's uh, he was in the doorway to blue, so I don't know how easily he could have gotten that kill. Um, that's very iffy at that point. Uh, you should be calling that other stuff out that I've been saying, like every other call out that I've tried to say that you should be doing, you should be doing. Like those are just basic necessity call outs. Because even if he isn't saying anything and you say, oh, my team is not talking, that's why we're losing. If you're talking to the masses and just are preaching to the choir and no one's saying anything and you're just talking, if you're giving useful calls, if he's a good enough player, he'll use them. If he's a good enough player, he'll use them. If he's a good enough player, he'll use them. You're indirectly helping them without any feedback from yourself. Um, and that's what you should count on when you make call outs is giving them information with the hopes that they're going to do something. Because like I said, if he knew the last guy was in a snowmobile, and he knew that the last person that was fighting him was uh, Kaid. Well, now he can push up. He hasn't heard Valkyrie over there, or he thinks that it's mildly safer. So he pushes up more. And now you guys have a lot better chance of winning. Uh, also, keeping in mind where Diffuser is, if we go back here, where did Diffuser get dropped? It looks like it was way over there. Oh no, it was up there. We just didn't grab it. We just saw it there and we just didn't grab it. First thing you should do after someone gets down and killed, especially if it's right here in front of us, is grab the diffuser. Granted, you died and you wouldn't have been able to do anything with it anyway, but there is 15 seconds left and no one had diffuser. So, worthless even if you had it, but could have been something if you did have it. Seconds. 
10 seconds. Five seconds left. One up. Yeah. And there's no reason for us to reload there at all. It's, like, this is kind of nitpicky, but you're reloading when you had 25 bullets. Uh, if you had just not reloaded, started to reload, you would have had better sound cues, and you could have possibly heard her to your left. Um, very minute chance that you would have heard her and reacted to it, but still a possibility. And then he dies, or doesn't die, he just runs out of time. And they're either going to go master or they're going to go blue bar. And actually, what operators do you have unlocked here? Uh, so Thatcher, so it looks like you have all of the base ops, which is good. And you've just been slowly unlocking them as you go. I wouldn't recommend getting Nook for now. She's looking pretty promising in Pro League at the moment. Um... But she requires a very, very different play style than what an attacker usually plays. So recommend not playing her for now, or unlocking her, I should say. Amaru, don't get... Finka, she's more useful than those two, but don't get her yet. Definitely get Capital if you don't have him. Definitely get Ying. She's very, very niche in what she does, but what she does is very, very well. If you don't have Jackal, get him. Yeah, he is banned a lot, but when he isn't banned, he's super useful. Um, but... That's my little spiel on what you have unlocked and don't have unlocked for attackers. <coughs> One thing that I'm noticing though is that it's very, very quiet in the lobby. Uh, I'm not saying to like talk all the time, but just create a plan, like say where you want to push from, what you want to do, and they actually went upstairs, wow. Uh, so this should be very easy, especially for you, since you're Zofia. You can just break open the walls and they can't really do anything about it. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend pushing from over here. Um, if we go back, I just want a top-down view of the place. There we go. Um, we don't really want to push from this side of the map at all. Like, we just want to not worry about this side. Like, the only time that we need to worry about this half of the map is if it's someone that's flanking down and around to get to us from uh, West Main Stairs. Uh, or... But again, that's also part of the map that we're worrying about is this map is West Main Stairs. Or they're just holding a long angle. Like we should be planting in bedroom here or we can plant an office. Uh, office is a little bit harder because there's a lot less cover to plant. But we shouldn't really worry about this half of the map because right when you come in here, you have the balconies that you have to worry about. Uh, and you have to worry about stairs, both sets of stairs, which is there's another one right here. And you also have to worry about clearing out library, which is already hard enough to flush out defenders at times, unless you have someone perched up on the balcony outside here, which then they have to worry about all of the balconies and all of main lobby now and all of West Main. <laughs> like it starts to get really, really complicated and convoluted. Once you start attacking from this half of the map, you should just focus on the half of the map on for this site like you only have to worry about one floor and one half of the map it is so nice for this um if you really want to get nitty gritty you can go down below clear out kitchen and trophy uh kitchen dining and trophy because then you can start killing them from below because pretty much the entire site is uh destructible from below uh keeping that in mind if you're gonna play pulse or something for this site like if you if it's a must pick like these guys where they have two of them done and your team is just like adamant, like, no, 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 this is the better site. Since you're in solo queue, uh, you play Pulse on this site, and you can kill practically anyone. Uh, but apart from that, you should just be focusing on attacking from this balcony. If you kill whoever's peeking you, because this is North America, and this is ranked, they're just going to peek you like it's no tomorrow. You can kill them, and then you win. But attacking from this side, no bueno. 
not the best choice. We're gonna go ahead here. To go. Oops. Insertion in five seconds. Proceed to bomb's location and defuse it. Look at that, they have a pulse as well. No idea if the pulse is actually gonna play like that. A lot of people don't know the destructibility capability of this map, which is sad. It looks like we're just running around. If we, oh yeah, we're ending up going over here, but we wasted almost a third of the round to get over here. We should put a claymore at that door so no one can run out. Hmm. Because even if, even if we're not the ones that's repelling there, if our teammate dies, we're at a disadvantage. So help your teammate by putting a claymore down. Located a bomb. Now we're going all the way downstairs. I wouldn't recommend putting a claymore there because you get spotted coming up here once you get to a about right here on the stairs. You don't get fully off the stairs, but you get all the way up here as a three speed anyway. Um, and so if there's anyone on the balconies, they should have a quick enough reaction time to turn around and kill whoever's trying to run out at them. Putting a claymore here doesn't really help you a whole lot. Um, it would if you were uh, attacking kitchen dining because then you can look through kitchen window here. But putting it there is kind of useless. Whereas if I said, like where I put the said put the claymore before, Repelling on this, on these bars here is very, very useful. Uh, you can hide your head very, very easily, and it's very hard to kill you when you're repelling. Uh, and once they break this door, you're basically dead. Like you have a, like less than half a second to kill them before they kill you if you're repelling here. The only advantage you have is if you're directly above them at the door, because then they, it's a lot harder for them to get the angle on you. Uh, but if you put a claymore there, it's a lot easier to kill them. Uh, so rethinking where we're putting our utility, this I'm guessing you're putting it there for yourself and only yourself. But like I said, you should have a fast enough reaction time to get that. I really hope you don't go up the ladder here. You can repel on this balcony if you didn't know it. Oh, you're not going to. Oh, here, let me go back. I can show you where. On these pillars right here, you can walk up to them and you can repel up so you can actually peek the store without fucking dying. Uh, so keep that in mind next time. And it's a way to get up to that balcony because if you go back over here, here you gotta turn back around here. If you can get up and repelled up here, you can one, kill anyone that tries to run out of you right here. And you, I think you can get down here. I'm not quite sure. I don't think you will though. Uh, but you can get over to this balcony by vaulting the stairs here. Um, well, no, you can't. You can get onto this balcony from here, but you can't go back over. Uh, I don't think anywhere. It's been a while since I've had to do that. Uh, but keeping that in mind as well, uh, you don't have to gain control. And if you can gain control of this door and you can get in there effectively, then you're pretty solid. And since we know they have an echo now and a pulse, it's going to be Fairly hard to plant unless we just kill people. And now we're running back around. We don't know exactly where to peek at. We don't know where to go in at. There is someone behind that shield. Yeah, so we should aim above it like that. Good job. There's someone to our left, our left of the door. Unless that's, am I hearing that from below? We're getting a plant off. See how easy this is now? Like, look at the angles that you have to cover when you're just attacking from this side of the map. You have to cover the stairs here, and then you have to cover this door. That is it. 
two angles. Once you kill the people in sight, which they're probably going to die because there's no cover in sight, and then you flush out whoever's in bathroom, you just have to watch two angles, and you're done. So consider spawning on this side of the map. You could have planted a lot sooner. Uh, the second that you give them time is the second that you lose. Don't give defenders any more time than you have to. Little unlucky on that mute. Alright. Feel bad for him. Alright, and the defenders. Let's look and see what you got for defenders unlocked. Hmm. And Clash is banned, but I assume you don't have her. Um I'd recommend unlocking Goyo. And Ella is fairly good. Cav, if you, I don't know how you're gonna play this. Uh, looks like you're gonna bandit and hopefully bandit trick. Uh, but Cav is really good for learning maps. Rook is just a very basic operator. Uh, fun fact, he's actually more effective to use than Doc. He has a much higher win rate for one in ranked. And two, you get instant utility out of him. You just drop your stuff and your team benefits from it. Five people get one extra bullet to take, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it is a lot. Um, in the context of this game, it makes them makes everyone on par with everyone else. Uh, usually defenders have worse guns and attackers have better, but if you have Rook armor, now the weapons are on the same level. And Doc or Rook can die, and his utility still gets used. Doc dies, and if he has his three sim pistols, you don't get them used. And Doc can only really give people one more gunfight, whereas Rook can give five people one more gunfight. Uh, Kite is also a good one to pick. I don't know if you have Mira. I'd recommend getting her if you don't. Uh, Alibi is also a nice fun one to have. So you have pretty much the good ones that you need unlocked right now. Uh, so that's good. Nothing more to really say there. And you want to go snowmobile grind, so say something. If your team isn't agreeing with you, say something. Don't sit here and wait. Or pick a different operator if you want. Looks like that's what we're going to do. Maybe. Yep. Ooh. Oh, that was close. Uh, did you have Barb? Okay, yeah, you do have Barb, which is good. But good job on picking someone else uh, in those situations. If you really, really, really wanted to go downstairs, if you say something, typically your team will just do it. Um, it doesn't happen all too often in my experience that they just flat out say no, they're not going to, and they just don't do it. Uh, typically someone will, but your team did go the more quote, the meta site to pick and the easier site to defend. Not bad, Maestro Cam. You can see the whole room. I don't know about that one too much. Well, I hope you don't open that up. I hope you reinforce that. Not a bad idea to open it up though for... Oh, what's the word? Sound, there you go. I couldn't think of the word for a second. Opening it up for sound. Oh, you can hear better on the other side of the reinforcement. I wonder when they're gonna fix that bug. Oh. Um, to talk more about the Maestro Cam that you have over here, I'd recommend putting it somewhere in dining, just so you have more uh, information to you. Right now, you only have information on uh, Trophy and West Main. Uh, you could easily get that with Valkyrie, but she could easily get the information with dining for you too. Uh, but yours is a lot harder to take away than hers. Uh, your information is a lot more valuable. So 
clustering it up on one half of the site isn't the best idea, in my opinion. Shield. Hey, Capcan's in my hiding spot. There's a drone that we missed. We should not get on our drone because that's probably a, mm, a Maru. Stay in there, probably. We could easily die from the kitchen window right now, for one. Good. Yep, there's the Amaro hook. They flamed up behind you. They smoked up behind you. Probably get on our cam to see what's going on. There we go, he's in there. Wait. Looks like you called it out. Good. You're telling him that, hey, there's someone in there with you. He still died. They have sight control now. They can plant. And we did hit him. To our left, you're running. Oh, I was gonna say pre fire that a little more. You have points turned off. Yeah, you have points turned off. Um, I guess I wouldn't recommend it unless you're going to plan on playing in scrims or competitive play. Um, points do tell you a lot more than what you'd think. Uh, I don't know how it took me this long to realize this, too. Um, I don't, I'm just not used to it, I guess. Uh or I'm not used to not saying, I don't know how to say that. Um, but you should have them on, ideally, you should. There's no reason to not, unless you, like I said, you're going to plan on playing competitively uh, in scrims or Challenger League or something like that. Um, but for now, if you aren't planning on doing that, I would recommend having them on. I don't know what we're trying to do here. I mean, for one, what we could have done, right after we killed Thermite, stop, get on our cam. Get in that corner right here. Get on our cam, figure out where they are. Figure out what's happening. He said that the call came out that they were planting. So we could have gone on our Maestro cam and zapped him. Uh, it was probably Capital that was planting because Maru was outside the window after it happened. Um, but we could have been zapping Capito. Because if he's, pl we already hit him, we know we hit him because of the blood splatter. Um, if we even downed him, because we don't know if we downed him because we don't have points on, uh, he's only 20 HP, or at the very least, he's down to at least, what would that be, at least 75? Yeah, he'd be at least 75, because 37 damage, even through a wall, will take you down to 75 at the very least. Um, that's enough to kill someone that's planting as Maestro. If you start shooting them right as they start planting, that's enough to kill them. Um, even if you don't kill them, you're going to take them down to like 20 HP, which for Capcan, that's a one shot. For Jaeger, that's a one shot. And for you, that's also a one shot. He's downed or killed in one shot. Useful to have that. Um, and if he's planting on this side of the room and not near the window, you can point to your camera to him and start zapping him, and Amaru can't do anything about it. So you get free zaps on him right there. Uh, not going on our cam wasn't the most ideal thing in the world. Yeah, he was planting on that side of the room, so yeah, we could have easily just gotten free 
uh, picking his item, unless he planted really close to the door, to which case we wouldn't have been able to see him. But let's see where he was. And then we try and, I don't know, like, we still don't have information. Like, this is the thing that's kind of bothering me, is you tried to go down here when you don't have full information on what's happening. Um, I don't know if you think that Amaru is at kitchen window and you're going to jump out through a uh, trench door or something like that. But right now, it's kind of... Ooh. I, I honestly, at this point, I kind of want to know what your plan was. Because all we could do is we could go out trench door, but she wasn't at kitchen window, so that wouldn't have been very useful. Um, we could have gone downstairs and jumped out the door down at big garage door. Uh but we would have had to run all the way up to Killer, and in which case we wouldn't have, we would have been spotted and we probably would have died at that point. We could have gone off West Main Stairs, but we already have two players that are there, so there's really no point in doing that. If anything, we want to have, uh, make a hole right here while we're close to the wall and be able to open that up so we can walk in there, but we should have already done that during prep phase. Uh, our setup wasn't the best. We didn't have a rotation there. Uh, so I don't really know what you're trying to do or no I was gonna say you could have been going upstairs and around but you could have just walked out instead of just breaking the hatch so I I really don't know what you were trying to do there mission failed all friendlies were eliminated And did he say that he was on chat too? Yeah, he said he was one shot, so we could have possibly killed him. Where is this lunchbox? Where is it? Is he gonna show it to us? No, we don't get to see it. Uh, don't know if, for sure if we would have been able to kill him, but since he was one shot, we know if we had zapped him at all, he would have been dead either by us or by Capcan, who probably landed a shot on him. If he didn't land a shot on him, we would have killed him. If he did land a shot on him, then he would have just killed him right there. So thinking about our utility, figuring out how we're going to use it fully. Because <coughs> even if it doesn't benefit us in the moment, it'll benefit our team later down the line. We're going to vote for downstairs now, and everyone's going to agree with you, which is good. Um, I wouldn't, if I were you guys though, um, if this was like a five stack and you guys could pinpoint, like if you could all universally agree where to go, um, your main problem there was just holding on the trophy and it was a very, very easy hold that you could have avoided. Capital did flame you guys out, but you could have gone back into there really quickly. Amaru repelled in, but she's super vulnerable when she does. So her taking uh, site control like that could have been easily avoided on your part um, if you had just stayed in the room. Uh, you could have just held a different position from where Capital was flaming you. It wouldn't have been too hard. Um, and your very presence in the room stops them from being able to plant, obviously. Um, but after that, uh, even if all this, like the same thing went down, everyone died the same way, everything happened the same way, you still could have zapped him and stopped him from planting and possibly gone the kill from it, from your uh, Maestro turret, and then you just have to worry about one person in a 1v3 post-plant situation. Like, that's very, very, like, easy to deal with. So, thinking about that and how you could have fixed that, um, I'm not arguing that it's going... Like, going to a different site isn't bad by any means. Um, it's always a good idea to do that. Ugh. It's never not a bad idea, unless there's something like, unless it came down literally to one little tiny fuck up that it's just like, okay, if we don't fuck this up, we can actually win this, then yeah, change sites. <laughs> And Siege is doing that thing where it takes forever to, for everyone to load in, even though everyone is loaded. the bombs. Who put that bulletproof can there? Was it Legion? Be advised, op four has found the bomb.
if you're going up here, I would prep the windows above the garage, like uh, snowmobile garage, so right above you, basically. Uh, that way, if you fail at bandit tricking, immediately you can just yeet a C4 out there. I usually net like one possible kill and every now and then two kills. Uh, but it surprises them because they think that you're right next to the bridge. And if you know you weren't going to get that thermite charge or that Hibana charge, just say, fuck it, get out of there and C4 them. They don't expect it that often because you're the only one with the C4 typically on the board. Uh, well, you have a cap can, but depending on where he is, you might not get it. I hope... Okay, good. I was going to say, I hope you don't put both of them down. <laughs> I would stay on cams for maybe just a little bit longer. Uh, at this point, that's when you get off cams, but I would have stayed on it just a little bit longer. Because you could have possibly, through the other camera, you could have seen who they have. Um, we already, from hearing it, Thermite or IQ, more than likely a Thermite. So we could call that out to our teammates, say, hey, they have a Thermite or an IQ. What did he say? I'm dead. I have no idea who he said. Someone's droning outside. We shouldn't... Ah, we shouldn't be doing this. Uh, this should be our teammates. I mean, it's just a regular drone. If, what's a regular gonna, drone going to do? A spot us? Like, who cares? Uh, they know we're bandit tricky. It's pretty obvious based on the fact that only one wall is reinforced. So we should just stake right with the actual wall. Yeah, like that. was spawn peeking for some reason all right that's good we recognize that they were they had found bomb a so they're droning out bomb a we should call to our teammates hey they're over here there you go i see that i would have saved the c4 possibly for when you know for sure where they are that's not a total waste but it's Pretty close. Good job on that. Man, it sounds like it's a money. So we should call out to our teammates if we haven't already. I don't think that you did. Let me just go back. Yeah, we haven't called it to our teammates yet. Um, call it to him. Say, hey, Monty's over here by me. Because if he walks into connector now and he's ADSing, he has a shield on, he's ADSing, he could just, Monty could just get a free kill because he wasn't paying attention. You didn't tell him, hey, there's someone here with me. Yeah, it is Monty. They can't plant in there. Good job. Four remaining. I would have probably notified them that they're planting. We don't say anything. They just start planting. That's when you just say, quickly say, planting and wine. One up. And we knew where Hibana was, so looking in the uh, closet, I was wanted to say cellar, into closet was kind of almost could have gotten us killed um if he had heard us walking over and he just instantly stopped and 
redeploy his shield, now all of a sudden you have a Demonte to deal with, so... What I would do if I were you, is I would hide into trench hallway, uh, closet hallway, which is over here. Just hide in there, because you have a thermite charge to get into. Uh, you'll hear them if they come from trench, and it's a, quote, bad position. It's an out of position position, i.e. a place that they wouldn't expect you to be in, and a place that is very, very safe for you, because you have lots of rotation opportunities to get out, get the fuck out of there if you need to. And it's only one person, so they can't exactly pinch you. It looks like we're kind of doing that. There we go. 15 seconds. Pushing blue. We, we shouldn't do this. We should just stay back there. If anything, once we hear blue call out, we should go and practically hug Trench. There's no, there's no way that she can get out of blue and get all the way to Trench. So we're very safe. And this low of time, by the time she kills, let's assume that she does kill Legion, like immediately, like right after I unpause this, she kills Legion, and then she starts running over here to get the fuser. By the time that she grabs the fuser, there's going to be two seconds left, maybe three. Uh, based on the distance that she has to run, there's no rotation here. So she has about two to three seconds to plant right after that. And that's assuming she doesn't go for you at all. They have no information on you whatsoever. Uh, and crossing your fingers that they don't have a drone either, you just sit there and wait. But if you do this, now all of a sudden she has four seconds left and she can kill you still. So keeping that in mind. Time expires in 10 seconds. Five seconds the Capcan trap, there you And it looks like this is the last round. Aww. So now we're gonna go back, kitchen trophy. And it looks like you have your set operators for each site too, and how you wanna attack, etc., which is good. Um, I would be cautious on it though. Because if they know how you're going to play, they could counter you, and then now all of a sudden you don't know what to do. Uh, I would always recommend having like three to four operators that you can pick on any given site, both for attack and defense, so that you have some way to be able to go at it without having to give away too much to the enemy. Secure the area. Keep the bombs protected. <laughs> we just go for the rook armor. I don't like that camera even more than the other one because it limits your information even more. Now you can only look at West Main. We do have a rotation in there now, yippee. Five seconds and counting. Should have been crouched, but whatever. We're opening up rotations this time, which is good. You should look on default cams, figure out where they're coming from. If both cams are out, they're coming from both sides. If only one cam is out, you have a pretty good idea on where they are. Try yeah. Someone who plays Capcan a decent amount of time, don't do that. If you see Capcan trying to work a door, let him do it. He has five traps that he has to put out. They take time to put out. You doing that just wasted a lot of time for him. Uh, like it's one of the most aggravating things. Like if you see Capcan working a doorway, let him work it. It's really finicky and glitchy, and it's even worse when someone else walks by you. So being a little more. Uh, aware of what your teammates are trying to do. And it seems like the second that we get even a, like a sniff of trouble, we're out of trophy and we're in this position, which wouldn't be bad if we used our reinforcements to reinforce this wall, but we haven't, so they can just kill us from kitchen window. They already spotted us once last round. Mm, excuse me. So if they're smart, they'll just 
kill us this time without actually peeking us. There's wall banging. Now we know that they're getting in the big garage because the shotgun was opening it up. Now trophy people are dead. They have a blackbeard. Ooh, they really want to close this out. Hey, one stairs. He got spotted and he just stayed there. I think what you're trying to do is you're waiting for the Amaru to repel in, but they spotted you, your feet, where you're standing is destructible, so why would they even try to do that? Um, if the Amaru is stupid, she's going to do that, but once you climb up a little bit more, or once you get to where you are now, uh, gold 3 apparently is all this takes, is they're just going to destroy the floor before, below you, and they're not going to worry about you. Friendly remaining. And Canada is off and buck too. Now, what you're probably thinking is, what the hell is this cab doing? Like, she's just doing nothing. Like, she's just off in the middle of nowhere. But I can tell you, as someone with over 140 hours with Cav, you are probably one of, you guys, this team is probably one of the worst teammates I can have as a Cav because you're not telling me anything. Like, they're all, she thinks that they're going to push from over here, and she thinks they're going to push from main door, because they did last time, uh, and she's just waiting for them to push from this side of the map. She's doing her job as a roamer to possibly waste their time. You guys all died within, like, 30 seconds or so, uh, 30 seconds to 45 seconds, but you didn't say anything. One person said one thing, which was, they're on stairs, and that doesn't tell her anything, which stairs, there's three sets of stairs on this entire map, so which ones? Um, but you not saying anything, not saying, okay, we have one person on, or we have one or two people, or two or four, three people on trophy window, one person's definitely downstairs, and there's one on West Main Stairs, that tells her, okay, this half of the map, cut off, I don't need it anymore, because they're not using it, so why the hell would I be over here? You guys not telling her this makes her believe that she's possibly going to get a straggler, like one of these guys is just going to be off in the middle of butt fuck nowhere and then she can turn the tide with an interrogation uh but that's not the case like me as a cab if i'm walking through it's just like i want to know the whereabouts of where they are i can't do that i'm not i don't have information you have information maestro has information legion has information cap can to an extent has information um but you guys just aren't telling her this at all so of course she's going to be off in the middle of nowhere because she doesn't know where they are Tell your roamers where they're pushing from so that they can do their job and flank them and waste their time. If you don't do that, they're wasting the time of no one else. Literally no one. See, now she thinks that there's someone up in master bedroom, but you know that there's no one upstairs. So if you had told her, she wouldn't be up here. I see she's, she's pretty hell set and bent on the fact that someone's probably upstairs. And she died. And the last call was, where is she planted? Um, not the best game ever. You got a lot of kills, but your team play was really, really poor. Like, just using your mic more and telling them where they are, because then you can avoid situations like this, where it's a 1v5 last round, and she's coming downstairs and the only place she can come is right here or the other door over here uh she's basically at a bottleneck she can't do anything uh so talk to your teammates tell them what's happening even if it looks like you guys are 100 percent gonna win like last round where you had bandit you were banded and it was a 1v uh or 2v2 and one person was planting but you didn't say anything like tell them what's going on let them know what you're doing let them know what's happening and you can win more games that way even like again even if it's 
something that's benign and it's something that you possibly aren't going to notice or they're probably not going to care about because you're going to kill them anyway. It just makes you ready to make callouts like this, where telling them where they're pushing lets your one person know that's roaming, hey, we need help on site, get the fuck back here. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, it looks like you play a lot of the same operators too, which isn't bad. I might look at your operators and give you a rundown of that, what I think of it, but I don't know. We'll find out.